Shortly after our marriage, we realized we wanted a life of freedom, a life of travel and adventure. We've camped at some of the country's most pristine campgrounds and explored the best attractions and excursions across the USA. Now we're going to share our favorite spots with you. Each episode, we'll be staying a night in a new RV and we'll be sharing some of our favorite features with you. We're going to introduce you to some of our favorite campgrounds and take you to some of America's best travel destinations. I'm Dan. And I'm Lindsay. And you're watching The, the Happy, Happy Camper, Camper Bucket List. List. This episode, we're greeting you from the crystal waters of the Florida Keys. The 137 mile stretch of islands is known for its beautiful views, both above and below the sea. Plus, this tropical paradise has gorgeous weather all year round, which is why so many snowbirds, especially RVers, make it their perfect winter getaway. But no matter what time of year you visit, this place will capture your heart. Tour with us as we uncover the many reasons the Florida Keys landed on top of our bucket list. tripping the Keys from top to bottom and we're starting our journey in beautiful Key Largo. While it may only be 33 miles long, it's the largest of the Keys and jam-packed with adventure. The first stop is John Pennon Camp Coral Reef State Park, which was the first undersea park in the United States. It covers approximately 178 nautical miles of coral reefs, seagrass beds, mangrove swamps, all for you to explore. You can choose to take a snorkel or scuba tour, go kayaking, or enjoy a 30,000 gallon saltwater aquarium. So we're out here in John Pennington State Park, kayaking through the mangroves. This is just such a cool experience. In fact, we just saw a shark swim by us. But if you're looking for the most popular thing to do here at the park, you must swim to the 4,000 pound bronze Christ of the Abyss statue located just below the water's surface. Since the statue was placed in 1965, it's been a bucket list attraction for campers and tourists alike. Travel south with us down the coast and you'll land at Sunshine Key RV Resort and Marina. Does your own private palm tree and beach sound like the ultimate vacation? Well, that's just what you can find at this one-of-a-kind campground. In between, enjoying the incredible views, grab a quick game of tennis, and then cool off in the beautiful on-site swimming pool. Bask in the Florida sun on a white sandy beach and see for yourself why so many RVers love this unique campground. This episode, we get to try out the brand new Keystone Cougar 32 RLI. There were so many windows that even when we were inside, we still got to check out the incredible scenery. Plus, did we mention this RV has a huge master bedroom and sleeps six. So there's plenty of room to bring family and friends. But the best part of this RV is all the space. It was so nice to have enough room and bring our blender to whip up some tropical drinks and then step right outside our door and enjoy our drinks on our own private beach. We just cannot get over the day we had here in paradise at this campground in the Florida Keys. And we're just walking on the beach at sunset after the most perfect day, feeling so grateful right now. When we set out, I feel like, when we started thinking of our RVing and made the decision, this was kind of what inspired us. The idea of palm trees and like taking your house to the Florida Keys. I mean, what could be better? And now that we've made it, it's just like a dream come true. One of the best places to skydive in the world is here at Skydive Key West. Dan Lindsay, welcome to Skydive Key West. Today is the day that you two are jumping out of an airplane. Got the plane behind us, beautiful blue skies above. Steve, tell us all about it. Not only a skydive ahead of the will, but also one of the most amazing trips on the entire planet here at Skydive Key West.
it. This is amazing. What an incredible way to see the Florida Keys. You've got to get to the sky. Like you can see them from the water, the land, but this is the way to see it. We've made it all the way down the Keys, as far south as you can land in the continental United States. Fort Zachary Taylor Historic State Park not only has the best beach in Key West, but it's also a step back in time. Completed in 1866, the fort served as first defense against adversaries attempting to attack Florida's southern coast. Today you can walk the red brick corridors of Fort Zachary, past cannon and gun ports, and explore the largest cache of Civil War armament in the world. When you're done exploring all the history, don't forget the park also has the most famous beach in Key West. Before you leave the islands, make sure you grab a slice of pie from the Key West Key Lime Pie Company. Not only is Key Lime Pie a symbol of the area, but this is the absolute best place to get a slice in town. Thank you for exploring land, sea, and sky with us here in the beautiful Florida Keys. We hope you love your visit as much as we've loved ours. We'll see you next time down the road on, on the, the Happy, Happy Camper, Camper Bucket, Bucket List. List.